I'm recording this on Pokemon Day. I hope that shows how much I actually care. I don't know what's been announced yet, but yeah, I'll find out anyway. But today, <laughs> I didn't plan this, but today we're going over my top 10 favorite Digimon. I planned this video the other day, and I didn't mean to actually record it on Pokemon Day, but it's quite ironic. <laughs> but yeah, in case you don't know what Digimon are, it's basically Pokemon. Yeah, but it's a little bit different, because... There are some differences, like di when Digimon evolve, they can change back, and that's about it, really. <laughs> Digimon can talk, I suppose. That's about it, really. <laughs> like, I actually am struggling to find the differences here, but yeah, D Digimon is not—it's not a rip of a Pokemon. It's actually based off of uh, what they call Tamagotchi, but they did take quite a lot of inspiration from Pokemon. But they don't own the whole like catching monsters thing, so like it's not like they just stole the idea. Kind of, but they did kind of steal the name, I suppose. Although every Digimon name ends with Mon. I've never understood that, but hey. But these are just my 10 favorites. I had to look for every Digimon for this video because I didn't know them all because I only really watched the first two seasons and I stopped watching Digimon uh, Tamers. And, I'm, and I saw some of Digimon Fusion, but that's about it. I haven't seen any other Digimon series. So let's get into it. Number 10 is an iconic one. Number 10 is Seedramon. One of the. F wait, I think he appeared in the third episode. Yeah. Seedramon's cool. I'm not to be confused with at the actual Seedra from Pokemon, <laughs> even though he looks more like Gyarados, but still. I love Seedramon's design. Not really his evolutions, I think it's Metal Seedramon? Yeah. They're not very creative with the evolutions. The, they look amazing, but the names are terrible. <laughs> but yeah, Seedramon is pretty cool. I like him. I, I don't really know what else to say about him. I guess I like his color scheme. It's like blue and yellow, kind of the same as Gyarados. You're not helping your case here, Digimon. <laughs> I haven't- I don't think he's appeared in any of the newer ones, though, but I haven't watched the newer ones, so I wouldn't know that. Okay, I probably- I feel like I should've probably put Agumon somewhere on this list, but you know what? Agumon gets an honorable mention because number nine is Toy Agumon. It's an Agumon made of Lego. Yes. Um, hang on, actually. I have them up here. I do have a few Digimon plushies. This is Agumon right here. <laughs> um, yeah. Sorry, Agumon. And he's like the- he's like the main Digimon, like the main one. He's the most iconic one for me, in my opinion. And, yeah, he was, like, the first one we ever saw, yeah. So, he's, like, the mascot of Digimon, debatable, but still. Um, yeah, but Toy Agumon is so funny. Like, I, I had to rank him over the, the real Agumon because he's that funny. I just love him so much. Like, look at him. He's literally a Digimon made of Lego. How is that not hilarious? I don't know how to pronounce this one's name. Number eight is Velgrimon? Vel- Velch? Velchgrimon? I don't know. There's no, like, it's spelled V-E-L-G-R. So, like, well, what the hell does that say? Like, please someone tell me. But, yeah, it's a peacock Digimon. Like, obviously, it was going to make this list. Digimon made a peacock before Pokemon did. Wow. I mean, sure, we have a peacock Pokemon now, and I love it, but still, Digimon was ahead of Pokemon in this regard. Um, there's actually, um, because Digimon's not, like I said, Digimon's not creative with their evolution names, so, so most of the time they just add a word in front of the Digimon's actual name. So, for example, Greymon evolves into Metal Greymon, and then it evolves into War Greymon. Yeah, so that, that, uh, hopefully you see what I mean. <laughs> but the, the Veldramon I'm talking about is Frost Veldramon, like it's like an ice type Digimon or something. There, I checked the other Veldramon, I don't like it, it's scary, but this one is beautiful, I love it. And it's a peacock, so of course I have to make the list. Number seven is Kulumon, this one is the one I actually remember. I don't think he had a big role in the, sh in the show, because he was in Digimon Tamers. Yeah, Digimon Tamers. Was it? I think so. Um, yeah. <laughs> I don't actually know who was his trainer, to be honest. I don't think he had one. Apparently he couldn't evolve, but I don't remember, so... <laughs> He's got, like, a symbol on his head as well, which, you know, kind of reminds me of Kadabra's symbol. And all the controversy about that. But yeah. And when he flies, his ears grow. It's so cute. It's kind of like Dumbo, but not as cute. <laughs> But I do like him. I might see if I can get a plushie of him at some point. Because I only have like 9 or 10 Digimon plushies. I just count them all because they're all right there. <laughs> I like them all, but they all are so old. They need washed. And it's hard to wash plushies. Number 6 is Birdramon. Originally it was Darulamon in this spot, but I switched it with Birdramon because it's birds. <laughs> and it's a bird dragon. That's pretty cool. There are quite a few dragon Digimon. I don't remember if I put any of them on my dragon video. I don't think I did. Um, maybe I should have. That would have been cool. But yeah, I really do love Birdramon. Um, she's like one of the main ones, uh, Digimon. Well, the evolved form of it. She's the, uh, hang on actually, she's the evolved form of Biamon. 
That is his actual name. <laughs> Beomon's a little cute bird, so it becomes this monster when it evolves. That's hilarious. Most Digimon become more monstrous as they evolve, though. That's what I mean by, like, they look like, you know, more complex than Pokemon, which they do. I just realized that Beomon has a ring around her ankle, like she's a homing pigeon. That's cute. But, yeah, Birdramon is awesome. It's like, a, it's basically a phoenix. It's basically the Digimon version of Moltres, like literally, except it has teeth. That's awesome. <laughs> I remember thinking it was the coolest of all, like, the evolved ones, because, they all, they, again, they always change back after they've evolved and battled. So yeah, but still, I really do love Bergermon. Bergermon is cool. Number five is Giyomon. Okay, now I know I said I don't remember much of Digimon Tamers, but I remember how much I love Giyomon. Giyomon was so cute, his little voice. And the fact he was literally a baby as well, but he was like a big, like seven foot dinosaur. That was so cute. <laughs> I love the, uh, I do not remember his name, but like the main character of Digimon Tamers. Basically the, the, the tie ripoff, that's what I'm getting at here. <laughs> He, he, he's like basically Giyomon's mom, and Giyomon even called him mummy at one point, and that was so funny. Like, I know it sounds kind of dumb, but he's so cute. He's so cute. He's probably the cutest Digimon just because of his personality and, and his voice. Like, <laughs> and you can see how much he makes me smile as well. That's how much I love him. But like, obviously, you know, I, there are four Digimon above him, obviously, but still. Great job with, that, with writing that. That was really cool. Number four is Cute Mon, basically Digimon's version of Pikachu. I mean, look look at him, he looks exactly like Pikachu. <laughs> Cute Mon is from Digimon Fusion, so that's like the most recent Digimon series I watched, so I, I actually do quite remember a lot about him. I remember him just being cute. His whole goal is to save his parents. His parents don't have names, they're just called Mom and Dad, and it's like, it's a bit weird, because we've kind of established before that Digimon don't have parents because they're just data, and then a Digimon dies, it turns back into an egg and restarts life, so it kind of doesn't make sense there, but still. <laughs> but yeah, Cute Mon is, as the name says, cute. I don't think it's the cutest Digimon, obviously, but it's cute. That's all I can really say, and that's where we're gonna leave it there. Number three is Kyobimon. Kyobimon is a kitsune. I love kitsune. That's literally all I have to say. <laughs> but for real, I do love it a lot about this one's design. The yin yang on its shoulder, the, the tails, obviously. And, like, maybe the color scheme looks too similar to Nine Tails, but they're both based on the same thing, so it makes sense. And, no, it's not a ripoff of Nine Tails, because the Kitsune has existed long before Pokemon or Digimon, so, yeah. And plus, there are other franchises that have Kitsune in them. Technically, Tails is a Kitsune, so, yeah, there you go. And Tails has the exact same color scheme as these two. Moving on. Alright, number two is Palmon. This is what I meant when I said that Agumon is arguably the protagonist, because... You, not the protagonist, the mascot, because you could also say Palmon is the mascot. And hang on a second. Ugh. Of course I have a Palamon plushie. I think I used it in a video for a joke before. I don't quite remember. I like that his ears are wings though. That's so cute. This plushie is very small though. <laughs> I remember I first got this. I was so happy. It's, I don't even know. It's definitely a bootleg one. 100%. But I like it. I like it a lot. I love Patamon. I love his relationship with TK. I love that he's like the youngest Digimon. And I also really love the fact that, that he takes like the longest to evolve out of them all. And like he couldn't evolve for like the life of him, <laughs> and then he finally did, and he became and he became Angelmon, and I love Angelmon as well, but I'm t I love Patmon more. <laughs> so yeah, Th the fact that this little adorable flying pig can become an angel, that is so cool. <laughs> I really love that a lot. And number one is Gatamon. Like the first time I would ever put a cat at number one on, on a list of some kind. Um, Gatamon's the first Digimon I ever saw. I have a plushie of her, obviously. She's very old, you can see that. Now, Gatamon, I actually got a plushie of her long before I ever knew what Digimon was. Like, long before that. <laughs> and then I watched the Digimon movie, and I actually, I remember seeing her. I don't, and I, that's literally all I remember from it, the first time I watched it. Just remember seeing her, and how cute she was. <laughs> so that's why I was so glad that I got a plushie of her. Um, years and years ago. And actually, it's quite funny, actually. I actually, um, lost that plushie, like, long ago. But then, uh, this isn't the same one. <laughs> it's actually quite funny, because my school was having, like, a school affair, and I was sick that day, which I was sad about, because I was very excited to go. So my brother went and got some things for me, like, some, like, prizes or, like, bought stuff, etc. And this is one of the things. So that's quite ironic. Also, if you're wondering, the other thing was actually this Pikachu right here. I got these both at the exact same time. A day I was sick, so that's quite funny. <laughs> yeah, 
But Gatamon is so cute, and I love her. I love how she literally started off as a villain because she was meant to belong to Tai's sister Kari, but then like her egg got lost and got found by Myoismon, who is the villain of Digimon. Um, and then he raised her as like a servant. He abused her. She has scars like on her paws. Um, but yeah, she he raised her, and she like what became evil. But then when she met Kari, she realized, no wait, I'm good, and you're my owner. And it was quite cute. I liked it. And she became become Anja Woman. Hate that name so much. Really do. I get what they were going for, because woman, woman, like yeah, well done. But that yeah, was a terrible, terrible name and a terrible pun. <laughs> And we're not talking about Angel Woman because unlike Angel Woman, who I actually love, I don't really like a Angel Woman because, yeah, I don't really think I need to say anything else about that. <laughs> but yeah, Gatamon is always going to be my favorite Digimon. I love her so much, and I'm always going to have this plushie. I, I, I don't really, it, it's weird, you would have thought I got rid of it, but I'm really glad I didn't because apparently I got rid of a lot of plushies that I wouldn't have got rid of, like, now. And, you know what, I might put you on display somewhere. Not in the videos, but I'm going to put her on display somewhere. And maybe the other Digimon plushies, I don't know. Okay, well that was my top 10 favorite Digimon. I recorded it on Pokemon Day, which is hilarious. And as the time I'm recording it, actually, I, do, I think the Pokemon Direct is happening right now. But you know what? I do not give a shit. <laughs> because that, really, like, I know I have Pokemon plushies in the background still, but that's just because I kind of have to. If I could, I would totally change the background to, like, something more in theme with the channel. Because I think I'm moving on from Pokemon now. I'll always love Pokemon. I'll always collect the plushies, but... As a franchise, I'm moving on from Pokemon now. I'm sorry. <laughs> you probably already know that. And to the people that still call us a Pokemon channel, you're really dumb. <laughs> I'm sorry, but you are. But yeah, that's where I'm going to end that. Let me know what your favorite Digimon is in the comments down below. And please like and subscribe. And I'm Vivi, and I'll see you next time. Bye!